Hello everyone and welcome once again to the sewing workshop. My name is Stella Olasukomi and if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscriber button. It is that red subscribe button beneath that red thing. You can see it. Just hit on that and you already subscribed and you will see notification when I upload new video. Today I want to show you guys how to cut a button down shirt. Actually, this video is going to be a little bit different from possibly the videos you've seen before because of the technique I'll be using. This technique is quite easy to get in which I think personally is what I've been using to cut a shirt, including the one I'm putting on. It's a button down with a bishop collar. It's going to be a very, very simple technique. If you follow me step by step, you're going to get the same results and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial now so here very first thing i'll be doing is this i'll just be marking out one inches from each of these side in order to have a very smooth edge mark out one inch from here I'm going to mark out one inch from here also. I'm going to take out one inch from here in order to have a smooth edge. I'm going to take out one inch from here. I'm, going, I'm just going to root them straight. So that would be my edge. I'm going to do this one straight also. Do you see that? So right now, so what I will be doing now is I will be adding my overlap the chest, the bottom side that overlap, I'll be adding it at 1.5 inches. Plus the folding and the stitching in the front, I'll be adding 1.5 inches to that. So I'll also mark that down here. So after this, that's when I'll be taking my measurement. My body measurement is at 30. My chest measurement is 39, 39 inches. So I'm going to divide that by 4, 39 divided by 4, which will give me 9, 9 3 quarter. So I will just approximate that to 10 and I'm going to add just an half of an inch for my sewing allowance. I'm adding half of an inch, that will be 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark my 10.5 inches here. After this line, that's when I measure my 10.5. Do you see? After this, this is where I measure my 10.5. And I'm also going to measure my 10.5 from this side also. I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to rule that together. I'll join them together. This is my own way of cutting a shirt if probably you are not used to this procedure. It's quite easy and simple because I will end up at the same, the same result. So now I'm going to take the length measurement. The back of this shirt is going to be a little bit longer than the front. So it's like a TM shirt. But the front itself is going to be at 27 inches so i'm going to add one inches to that which will make it 28 inches i'm going to mark it here also 28 inches so i'm going to join this together also see that so the next thing i'll be doing now is i'll cut it out 
and I'll also cut the back. Just cut this out. Cut it here also. Also cut the back. Cut this side also. I hope you guys are paying attention the videos you've seen might probably be different from this but this one we're going to do it from the beginning to the end together so you see my own method which i do believe it's quite simple and if you follow me from here you will definitely get the same results so i have this this will be for my front it's two you can see it's two so that's one side and the other side so the next thing i'll be cutting now will be the back so i'm going to turn this to the side just a little bit you see what i did just turn it to the side and from this edge right here from this edge right here I'm going to take out one inches from here. Now to get the straight edge also, take out one inches from here. So from this mark, the point, the previous one is 28. To that 28, I'll be adding 30 inches, which will be for the shoulder overlap. I'll be adding 30 inches. That's 28 plus 3. That will give me 30. That will give me 31. That will give me 31. Plus that little bit of length that I want to have at the back of the shirt. So I'm going to add just 30 inches to that. That will give me 34 inches. So here, I'm going to mark my 34. Can you see? Just mark my 34 here. So from this up also, I'm going to mark out my 34. Just mark my 34 down there. I hope you can see that. As simple as that. So now from this particular hedge, I'm going to take out my measurement which is 10.5 for the previous one i mark out my 10.5 here i'm going to mark out my 10.5 here also so i'm going to rule them here first I'm going to join it together. So now I'm going to cut it out.
So I just got it out. So here is the bag. Now all I will be doing is I will be placing this my front on the back and I will make sure this my overlap actually come out of it. You see that? It came out of it just a little bit. And make sure the, the upper part actually balance well. So here, I'm going to slam the shoulder by 1.5 inch. And the slant is going to end at this particular part. So I'll make a joint line right here. Now I'm going to cut out my slant. Cutting out my slant, I'm going to move this down a little bit and make sure I have my three inches at this part three inches or 2.5. I will just go with 2.5 inch at this part. So I'll move this up. I'll move this over here. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'll be using the iron at this point. I'll just move this over here and it's going to overlap it at just very, very, maybe like half of an inch, very small. I'm going to iron that down. Just iron that down. So after I turn this side over it like this, I'll be taking out my shoulder measurement, which is at uh, 18 inches. I'll be adding a little bit of allowance to that. So I'm going to mark my shoulder right here. And my ham hole, I'm going to make it nine inches. I'm going to mark it right here. Also at this point, I'm going to mark out my 9.5 9 at this point. So I'm going to I'm going to join it together just like this. I hope you can see what I did now. So the next thing I'll be doing is, I'm going to divide this part by two, that's nine divided by two. That will give me 4.5. I'm going to add one inches to this place. Can you see that? So for my arm o curve, I'm going to come out straight like this. It's not going to be straight, it's going to be curved, but my chalk is not as curved as I would have wanted it to be. I'm going to come out 
like this. Let's come up like this to this place. Did you see that? I'm going to come out like that. And also here, I'm going to come out like this. So now, I want you guys to pay closer attention to this part because the very first part I'll be cutting will be the back. This is how it's going to go. That's the back. Let's cut out the back. So if this other line, I'll be cutting it out from this part. Let's make sure it comes out like this. Can you see that? Then I'll be cutting the front. Do you see that? So here I have, can you see? The back is a little bit outside and the front is a little bit inside. I'm still going to trim this edge a little bit in order to make it straight. My scissors is messing up and we are in lockdown, so I can't get the scissors now, so I have to manage this. So, that is that. So, the next thing I'll be cutting out is the neck. So, this neck is going to be at um, 15.5 inches. So, the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to mark out 2.1 2.1 mark out 2.1 here and here i'm going to mark out four inches for the depth of the neck so i'm going to make a curve right now to this particular point So if I measure it, so if I measure this, sorry for that, one that just disturbed me now, I'm going to have my 14 inches, can you see, it is at 7 right there. And if I want to make it a little bit, I'll just make sure this place is more coffee, which is how it's supposed to be from my set. So do you get that? So now at this point, I want you guys to pay closer attention. At this point, this I'll be cutting it from inside. I'll be cutting it from inside. I'm making a cuff at this part. Make sure I come out like this. This for the back. Now this point. Oh. 
I'll cut it to this particular point. Then I'll cut it straight. Do you see that? I believe you can see that clearly. So that is what I have here. So now I'm going to stitch this place because I'll just have like half of an inch for the overlap after the allowance. I'll just stitch this place and at the side, I'm going to take out my waist measurement, which is going to be like at 17. 17 right here. I'm just going to make a cuff at this point. My cuff that goes down. And I'm going to cut out my shape. I believe you are going to enjoy the sewing aspect very well. So this is what I have now. So the next thing I will be doing is this. I want you guys to pay closer attention to this part also. If I'm cutting it separately, like I'm cutting the back separately and I'm cutting the front separately, I wouldn't be doing this. I would have done it from onset. I'm just going to make sure I have my six inches here. So I'm going to make a straight line at this point. Make sure the line is as straight as possible. And I'm going to cut this part into two. Yeah, exactly. So I have my shirt. I have my shirt perfectly. So that is it. Now I'll be cutting another size of this one, which is white. I'll cut another size of this and I'll cut so um, I want to cut the sleeve now. So here I have a little bit of problem at this point. But I will be so the first thing I measured is my ham o cuff on the shirt right here. And the shirt, this is the back. This is the back. So all I'm going to do is just to measure my ham or cuff to this point. It is at 11 inches. It's at 11 inches. So here, all I need is 11 inches plus the cuff. So if I have like nine, so here I have nine inches. I have my nine inches. So the length of the sleeve is 20 four inches so and the cufflinks will be at three inches so 24 minus 30 that will give me 21 that's 21 plus half of an inch for the sewing in the front and and half of an inch for the sewing in the back it won't be up to half of an inch but because it's a shirt i will have to like top stitch the edge of the shirt that's the shoulder part i will like Top stitch it so I'll be having half of an inch here, which will make it a total, a total of 22 inches. So I'm going to mark out my 22 right here, and I'm going to mark out my 22 also here. I'm going to roll it together. Now we'll just cut it out. At 
this point to get out my call all i just do is just to make coffee here so i'm putting this at four inches this is going to make my call from this point down to this point Can you see that? And I'm going to cut it out. All right, here, if you measure it, we are going to get our 11 inches. You see that we have our 11 inches can you see 19 and 11 so my ham circumference um, my ham circumference is at, is at 16 so plus one for the sewing half of an inch for the sewing allowance and the top stitch we have my My edge here. I'll be taking two darts. That will be half half of an inch, and the ham itself is going to be at five inches. Um, the wrist is going to be at four point five inches, and I'll be taking half half of an inch for the um that the coffin is that. So I'm going to make this five and a half. to make my exactly like that so i'll be cutting this so that is for the cufflinks at this point i will be taking a couple of that at this point in order to make it that size the size in which we want and here i want you guys to pay attention to this place also i'll be taking out one inch from here which should be the arm o depth. Remember, I took it out when I was cutting the shoulder also. So it has to apply to this also. So I'll be cutting this out for the arm o depth. Just open this down. So if we close it together, you see that this place is in deep than the other place that's how to cut a shirt sleeve in order to give it the balancing so that is it on this at this point i'll be taking out my coffin slit there will be a slit in between here which will be a duplicate a placket a and the cufflinks we should be like an opener so here all i'll be doing is from this point i'll be taking out mostly i used to take four inches but at this point i'm just going to take 3.5 this is the back in which my that will be i'll take 3.5 and i'm going to make the depth of it four inches I'm going to make a straight through at this point also. So I'm going to cut it. 
So I want you guys to pay close attention to this. If you have not seen the video of how to make a confidence button that I make, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see the video if you don't want to watch this one. But it's still the same thing. So here, I'm just going to take two of this. You see, this is one and this is two. So I'm going to cut the two together. I'm going to cut it straight. To this particular point i'm going to make a little bit of notch here and a notch here so you see that so that is the cufflinks that is for the cufflink sleeve and i'll show the joining and the joining of the shirt itself so that is it on this